Hey guys, so today we are going to install Docker on our local Ubuntu machine. Um, why Docker? Because it just makes life so easy. You can just pull pull in a container and you can run it and you don't need to bother about uh, the dependencies of the software that you want to run. So say for example, I want to set up a local Elasticsearch server. I don't need to have any dependencies. Like I can just get an Elasticsearch image and I can run it using Docker. So that makes a developer's life very easy. We don't have to go through the complicated process of installation. So we just get an image and run it using Docker. So what is the first thing we need to do here? We need to update the list of packages. So let me just quickly type in sudo apt update. And there you go. It will update all the package lists for us. Cool. So before going further, so we need to add packages which will let apt communicate with uh, over HTTPS. So let me quickly type in the name of the packages sudo apt install apt transport HTTPS. You got curl, you got CA certificates, you got soft software properties common yeah let me install all of them our next step is that we will be adding the gpg key for the official docker repository so that we when we request for the repository uh they know that you know it's it's authentic request so let us quickly add the gpg key and here you go don't worry about the commands i will link all of them in the description below next i will be adding the docker repository to the apt sources so the command is here let's go yeah runs like a charm great one more time we need to update our package database so i say sudo apt update and it will add the newly added docker packages to the repo and finally we go on and say sudo apt install docker ce to install the docker community version on our ubuntu system yes so i'll see you guys at the other end of the installation and we are done here it took around two minutes so let me check whether docker is running or not sudo systemctl status docker and there you can see it it's up and running you can just simply type in docker <laughs> sorry about that docker and see the list of commands that are available sometimes if it doesn't work you might have to type in sudo docker so that's it guys for now in the next tutorial we learn about working with images and running containers thank you guys for joining